Hello and welcome back to a little bonus episode of uh, Magic Duel's Battle for Zendikar. I'm going to be spending my coins. I've had a lot of coins and uh, I need to spend them, so I'm going to spend them on some Battle for Zendikar packs. So in a way, my old channel daily pack is coming back, if just briefly. Um, for the record, I'm doing all of this before the video that came out before this where I actually had a fight. Um, just because I needed some ammo. Uh, so this is happening before that, but also I figured there's probably a lot of people that would like to see this. So I decided that, you know, we would do it. Um, so for, for 1,200 coins, we can open eight packs. I say that's what we do. Review your order. Yeah, I got it. I haven't actually spent any real money on the game. Uh, those, all those coins are just from, um, you know, playing the game for free, which is pretty nice. Let's open a booster. Let's crack a pack. Let's see what we've got here. We've got... Can get over here. What's waiting in your next booster pack? Single booster... What? What? Yeah? I just want to see the card. Uh, Alter's Reap is an instant. As an additional cost to ca uh, cast Alter's Reap, sacrifice a creature. Draw two cards. Okay, we've also got the Voracious Null. Uh, pay two, sacrifice another creature, put two plus one plus one counters on Voracious Null. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Swell of Growth. Uh, target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. This is Renewal. Search your library for up to three basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap, then gain... Then shuffle your library, you gain seven life. That's nice. Adverse Conditions. Uh, has no, no color. Tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Put a 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi Scion creature token on the battlefield. And then also an Eldrazi, a 10-8. All creatures able to block Breaker of Armies do so. Next booster. It has to load the booster. <laughs> oh, so we get a nice one down in the corner. We'll get to that. Ghostly Sentinel, which is a core spirit. 3-3 three, three Flying Vigilance. Another Voracious Null. Looming Spires is a land, enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains first strike. That seems like an old card that just got renamed, which happens from time to time. Uh, Drawn as Emissary, Vampire Cleric Ally, 2-2 two -two Flyer. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. You got the Marasa Ranger, 3-3 uh, three -three Human Warrior with Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay four if you do. Put two plus one plus one counters onto the ranger. And Obnixilis Reignited, who is a planeswalker. We have a black planeswalker. Comes in with five loyalty. Uh, for plus one, you can draw a card and lose a life. For minus three, you can destroy target creature. For minus eight, target uh, opponent gets an emblem. And basically an emblem just means like, it's an effect that happens in the game that nothing can possibly get rid of. There are no cards that exist that get rid of emblems. So basically... Whenever a player draws a card, you lose two life for the rest of the game. Can't. No, no take takesy backsies. Let's go to our next pack. Okay, there's another mythic. It's good. Tightening Coils. Uh, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets a minus six, minus zero, and loses flying. Complete disregard. Exile target creature with power three or less. McKindy Slide Runner, uh, Trample 2-1 with Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, McKindy Slide Runner gets plus one, plus one to end of turn. Also have a Rot Shambler. It's a Fungus for two. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Rot Shambler. Vile Aggregate, uh, Star 5. Vile Aggregate's power is equal to the number of colorless creatures you control. You also have Devoid, Trample, and Ingest. And then finally, the Oblivion Sower. It's a 5-8 for 6. Uh, obviously, Neldrazi. Whenever you cast the Oblivion Sower, target opponent exiles the top four cards of his or her library. Then you may put any number of land cards that player owns from exile onto the battlefield under your control. That is awesome. So you're almost, in, almost definitely going to get land cards out of that. That's really neat. Next booster. And we've got... Get a few things in here. Demon's Grasp. It's a sorcery. Target creature gets minus five, minus five to one to turn. We've got Plummet. Destroy target creature with flying. Another Swell of Growth. 
Another Drama's Emissary. Windrider Patrol, a 4-3 Merfolk Wizard who's flying. Whenever Windrider Patrol deals combat damage to a player, scry two. Then our rare for the pack is a Planar Outburst. The sorcery for five, destroy all non-land creatures. And you can pay the Awaken cast, and if you cast the spell for eight, also put four plus one plus one counters on target land you control, and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's uh, that's a really fun one. I, I like cards that destroy everything. That's uh, that's always a good time. The next up we've got. So we got another Nissa's Renewal. We also have Pilgrim's Eye, which is a 1-1 one, one Thopter. Uh, whenever Pilgrim's Eye enters the battlefield, you can search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Another Breaker of Armies. Uh, Calastria Healer, which is a 1-2 Vampire Cleric Ally. Whenever Calastria Healer or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. We have a Shatter Skull Recruit, a 4-4 Giant Warrior Ally, who has Menace. And a Mortuary Mire. Enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you may put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Not bad. Thanks, Booster. Got some fun stuff in here. Coral Helm Guide, which is a 2-1 ally. And for 5, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Another Voracious Null. A Norcana Assassin. It's a 2-3 uh, ally. Whenever you gain life, Nirkana Assassin gains Death Touch until end of turn. Rolling Thunder. To sorcery, deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or players. Tide Drifter. Eldrazi Drone, 0, 5 for 2. Other colorless creatures you control get plus 1 toughness. And finally, Munda Ambush Leader, which is a core ally, 3-4 uh, haste. And Rally. Whenever Munda, Ambush Leader, or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, you may look at the top four cards of your library. If you do, reveal any number of ally cards from among them, then put those cards on top of your library in any order, and the rest on the bottom in any order. Getting pretty good stuff. Also, Red-White is a fun combination. So glad I got that. We have a Wavewing Elemental, which is a 3-4 flyer with landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus 2, plus 2 to end of turn. Another Demon's Grasp. Valakut Invoker, which is a 2-3 Human Shaman. It can pay 8 and deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Uh, Undo Rising, which is a sorcery for 2. Whenever a creature attacks this turn, it gains lifelink until end of turn. You can also awaken it for 5, and that allows you to put 4 plus 1, plus 1 counters onto a target land, and... It becomes a haste creature, but it's still land. Serene Steward, which we fought against uh, in the episodes. It's an ally, 2-2 uh, ally, and whenever you gain life, you may pay white. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. And then finally, the Veteran War Leader. Also get a chance to use this in the matches. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. You can also tap another untapped ally to give Veteran War Leader first strike, vigilance, or trample until end of turn. Very cool. And then finally, we've got... A Dominator Drone. It's a Devoid Ingest 3-2 Eldrazi. When Dominator Drone enters the battlefield, if you control another colorless creature, each opponent loses two life. We got a Giant Manus, which is a 2-4 Reach. A Territorial Balith, or Balith. A 4-4 Beast with Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield, it gets plus 2, plus 2 to end of turn. A Slab Hammer, which is an Equipment. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, you may return a land you control to its owner's hand. If you do, the creature gets plus two, plus two to end of turn. Vampiric Rites. It's an enchantment. It allows you to pay two and sacrifice a creature to gain one life and draw a card. And our final card is the Blight Herder. It's a 4-5 Eldrazi for five. When you cast Blight Herder, you may put two cards your opponents own from exile into their owner's graveyards. If you do, put three 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi Scion creature tokens onto the battlefield. And that's that! We did it! That is us opening some packs. Now in the future, when we play through more DLC, we will inevitably get more coins. So once we get more coins, we'll be back in opening more packs. Now, once there's more DLC, you'll see us play it in the uh, in the future, so Magic Duels is not over for now. Uh, just stay on the lookout. Whenever more DLC is released, you will see it return to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays.